Interesting developments today. The Home Minister Amit Shah also has spoken about the BBC documentary on Prime Minister Modi. Listen in. BJP के spokespersons कह रहे हैं कि हर election से पहले ऐसे एक international conspiracy होता है. पहले रफाल था. देखिए स्मिता जी, मैं BJP के spokesperson को इसका जवाब दे दीजिए. मैं आपको बताता हूँ. सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इसका संज्ञान लिया है इस बारे में मैं कम से कम अभी बात करना नहीं चाहूंगा क्या कोई कंस्पिरेसी है सर जैसे बीबीसी का डॉक्यूमेंट्री हो या फिर ये सब ये हिंडनबर्ग का रिपोर्ट हो आ, क्या आप भी ऐसे देखते हैं कि के कोई देखिए सत्य जो होता है इस पर एक हजार कॉन्स्पिरेसी कर लो कुछ नहीं होता है वो करोड़ों सूर्य की भांति तेजस्वी बनकर ही बाहर आता है ये तो मोदी जी के पीछे दो से कर रहे हैं और हर बार मोदी जी मजबूत होकर सच्चे बनकर और जनता की ज्यादा लोकप्रियता हासिल कर कर बाहर आए हैं जी आशुतोष इज इन द बीबीसी ब्यूरो ऑफिस इन डेली गेरिंग आज ऑल ऑफ दोज पिक्चर्स यू सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट नाउ द पुलिस इन फैक्ट इज देर द एम्प्लॉयज आशुतोष है बिनास टू गो होम द फोन हैव बीन सीज ऑल ऑफ सेम सम ऑफ सेम वॉट मोर कैन यू टेल अस Well, some of those employees uh, put out this in public domain. Certain sp spoke to certain journalists. The phones were seized off, and they were asked to leave. Now, remember, this is the bureau office. So, when it comes to the editorial control of the world's one of the most reputed media organization, it is mostly since driven by you, uh, driven from UK. And when it comes to the news gathering, which is being done here at the bureau office, and the documentary team are totally different. There is barely any connection between uh, the uh, news gathering team here at the BBC uh, bureau office and one. Which makes the documentary, but clearly you heard from the Congress Party, the opposition, how they are, you know, relating with that. You just presented one documentary by the BBC, and which is critical to the government. Then you see these raids happening. So clearly, this is not going to stop. You will see more such figures. Even there could be possibly certain reactions from the British authority or even the global media giants when you see the income tax departments, be it survey, raid. uh data collection verification anything but the income tax department visiting you know world's one of the most prestigious news organization it will have its own uh, you know ramification there will be certain reactions uh, uh, you will see but for now what we are seeing here that the income tax official continue to present here the gates have been sealed here of course the media persons are not allowed to go inside the gates now being locked by the uh, security personnel we have the delhi police officials uh, present inside and the team of uh, we don't know yet uh, the number of the uh, income tax officials who came here uh, Uh, for this survey or for this verification but the fifth and sixth floor of uh, this building in uh, lutins delhi in kanot place where this uh, exercise is being done in, uh, in 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 the national capital sneha so some sort of a survey is what has been said by income tax department this is what sources are indicating right now but enough and more chatter and expect this to grow louder ashutosh about the fact that this is directly linked to the documentary that the bbc had put out on prime minister narendra modi the then chief minister of gujarat when the riots had taken place well you know administrative control or the editorial control of course which is not being done by the bureau office and one who understands the news organizations uh, operations so clearly we know how limited uh, access to the bureau offices uh, have but of course when it comes to the verification whether it is about uh, uh, the company's uh, tax records or it is about uh, specifically any employees that we not know yeah, of course there is no uh, official statement from the income tax department whether they are carrying out it is survey or as we have something in public domain called verification or it is a raid but with, without any prior notice if teams are visiting and just carrying out certain exercise okay. we know very much and familiar with these technical words but of course the common people can get an understanding standing what this yes ashutosh shall come back to in a moment from now sahil joshi is also joining us from mumbai are raids on in the mumbai bureau office as well sahil what more can you tell us which is in mumbai uh, the one premises which is situated in pkc where uh, they have set up their studio uh, we are hearing that the team from delhi has come income tax department team from delhi has come down to bombay and uh, uh, mumbai and they are also uh, uh, it's not a raid but we can call it there is a survey going on by the income tax department we we'll try to speak to sajit memen is also now joining us your reaction sir to 
the survey or the raids, you know, we don't have a clarification or official word from the income tax department yet, but we know that the office and the people has been raided by the department and the employees have been asked to go home. Mr. Memon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Will you please repeat? I was asking you a question on BBC being raided by the income tax department. The department says this is some sort of a survey that's being carried out. Your reaction to that? So all these raids, how far they are legitimate, they are uh, officially done, or they are being done at the instance of uh, uh, some political party for the purposes of uh, harassing the uh, victims. If it is a fair investigation, we have no objection about it at all. But then there has to be a perception that uh, the I income tax department or for that matter, mm -hmm. for any such central agency are not uh, misusing the powers. So... Majid Memon, in fact, I'm going to thank you for the moment for joining us uh, with your views.